Paul, thanks for joining us. That was eventful. What are your thoughts on that one? Oh, really disappointed not to win the game. Um, if I be truthful, uh, take your hat off to Morecambe. I thought they were absolutely magnificent from the first minute to the last minute. They couldn't have left another breath on the pitch. But we can't give teams legs up like we do. You know, the two goals, Morecambe's goals from our point of view, are really poor goals, especially the second one. We've got back in the game. We've produced a moment of quality. It was a really good goal from our point of view. And then we gave them a gift. And you can't give them gifts. I think the game panned out as we thought it probably would in terms of we look a new team. If you look back on the 90 minutes, we've done so many good things and we've done so many bad. We lack a bit of aggression in our defending and a little bit of aggression in our uh, but when the ball turns over. And it's so much to work on. I'm so pleased we didn't get beat. I thought the crowds were magnificent. Great credit to them. It was great coming out. The atmosphere was electric. And I think our fans will know we're a learning team. We do have individually good players, without a doubt, but we're not a team yet. There's a long way to go. But I must pay Morecambe a massive compliment. They come here today and they gave an amazing account of themselves and it's a great time for them in the division for the future. Was that part of the frustration, the manner of the goals, that we gave them away rather than going. they earned it's them? It's easy to be critical of the opposition or whatever else. You know, it's about us yeah. and we can't give goals away. It's simple. We know we want to be an attacking threat. We know I'll never criticise any opposition in, in terms of what they do or how they try. That's not that's football. The onus is on us to win games, especially at Portman Road. And if it takes patience and us moving the ball and creating good chances, we feel we've got the players to do that. We can't keep coming from goals behind to win games. We must take control of games. And unfortunately, we didn't do that today. And the good at the other end, the first goal, the second goal, quality to them. Delighted with them. Delighted for the lad. Delighted for Macaulay Bond. You know, again, McCauley's just probably felt a little bit out of it the last few days with other lads coming in. Do you know, we have to develop a squad. We have to develop a mentality. There's no individuals will win us games. It's a collective team game. I'm made up for McCauley. He's a proper Ipswich Town fan and he's lifted the roof off Portman Road and that'll stay with him forever. And you said as well, the, the fans being back, that was a huge, a a huge bonus for the squad. Really kept them good. going, didn't it? We've got so much work to do. We really, really have. It's, it's football's about your habits and how we train and how we work and how we come onto Portman Road. And you know, we didn't start the game with energy. We didn't finish the game with, you know, uh, craft or game. We're still trying to pass and go wide when we have a front two on. That's a handful. And the goal comes from us just making a basic decision to hit James. McCauley spins in and it's a great finish. But I'm delighted for the lads. I'm delighted for Mark Ashton. I'm delighted for all the owners. Do you know, it's been a really big week for us as a club. You know, the excitement. It was always going to be a tough game today. And I think we can all leave, apart from myself, quite content that we haven't been beat. We've got a point. We're up and running. And there's a lot of work to done in what will be hopefully an exciting season. Mentally, was it important not to lose? 100%. Because even late on in the game, the game was becoming a circus. The referee, in my opinion, probably lost a bit of control of the game with yellow cards, etc., whatever it is. And when we get to that point in the game, we're no longer controlling what we're doing. We're in the hands of other people. You don't win football games by losing your control and your habits. And it's something that we've got to do with the players. If we have disappointment, we must manage it. We don't turn the game into what the opposition wants. So credit to Morecambe today. I thought it was a great game, great advertisement for League One. And we'll lick our wounds a little bit and we move on to Burton Albion. Yeah. And Tuesday, of course. Big game. Uh, uh, a few sorry, switch Newport up. at all. Yeah. Uh, big game, Carabao Cup. Uh, it'll give us a chance to give players minutes. We've got new signings coming in. I think our fans will expect a, a lot of changes. They'll get it. You know, like just Sonny Aluko's just come in. You know, there's obviously uh, young Barry's just come in. These lads will start and we'll have a good look at everyone. And the quicker we can get to a point where we know what our best team is, we know our combinations, we know how we work. So, Everyone safe to home tonight. It's great to be back at Portman Road. It was great to, to not get beat. And we go home semi-happy. <laughs>